he comes to my school although not every day but in a month he must come twice because i am a lagosian i school here in lagos we stay in lagos while i'm going to school and i go to lasso this man comes every time like twice in a month and if he comes he must make love to me and nene please eh please just let me beg your audience in fact if you even have solution please i beg in god's name help me advise me because me i am i am very very tired i don't want to do this kind of it's life been only two years what's up guys is your girl nene baby so guys I have this lady here. There is something she would like to share with us. According to her, she's a student, but there's something she's passing through. Um, in fact, <laughs> guys, things they happen for this life. I keep saying it. I always say it. things they happen. But some people are still doubting it. Let's listen to her, guys. If you have any advice for her, if you have any opinion, drop them for her on the comment section. She will be reading our comments. Guys, please, no harsh words. Okay, sis, no mention your name. Just go straight with your story. Good afternoon, ma. I have been looking for your contacts for a very long time. Because this thing I'm about to share for over two years now, I've been battling with it. Looking for how to share my story and get solution to it. But thank God, I came across a lady that gave me your contacts. That was how I'm about to... That was how I called you and you asked me to come. There is one elder in my church. The man is married though. This man is very rich. In fact, he gives scholarship in church. This man gives things even to the less privileged. If he goes to the less privileged, see bag of rice, see beans, see everything that this man used to carry to their place. But I don't know that this man is a green snake under the green grass. He helped me when I get got admission into school. Because even when I wanted to write jump, I would not lie to you. My parents are very poor. It was the one that bought the jump from, from me. Alongside three other ladies. Plus me, we are four. And he's still the one sponsoring us in school. But the problem I have now... That I'm about to tell you. Because this man, I don't even understand anymore, self. I don't know why, if people help you, I don't know why they want to even take advantage of you. Because me, I feel that is what this man is trying to do now. He comes to my school, although not every day, but in a month, he must come twice. Because I am a Lagosian. I school here in Lagos. We stay in Lagos. It's only my parents now that have relocated back to Abekuta because of the way things are for them. But me, I stay here in Lagos because the man rented an apartment for me to stay here in Lagos while I'm going to school. And I go to Lasso. So now, this man comes every time, like twice in a month. And if he comes, he must make love to me. And when I even go and visit my parents in Abekuta. I don't even know how to tell my parents. My parents will even tell me that, ah, have you gone to greet that man and his family? If I tell her, no, she will tell me that, ah, you have to go back, or you have to go and thank him very well. You will help the wife to do out chores. You will help her stay in shop. Anything the wife wants to do, you will do it. You know now, if you are poor, and you see somebody that is helping you, you will always want to do everything to please that person. Even if I give my mommy excuse that, ah, I'm feeling sick, that's why I even came back home so that I can relax. My mommy will be looking at me as if I'm an ingrate. Like, I don't even take what the man does for us as anything. I don't appreciate it. But how will I even tell her that this is what is going on? You at, didn't tell your mom. I didn't tell her because why? of fear. It's fear. Auntie, do you even know that? <clears throat> oh, God. This man, within two years, oh, two good years, I've aborted like three pregnancies. The third one almost claimed my life. For this man? Yes. That third one, it has even started forming me. I did not know. Because I was even still menstruating. Me, I used to see my period, so me, I don't know if 
anything is wrong with me also because if you are seeing your period definitely you are fine but i used to feel that something is working in my belly so i told the man the man said i should go to the hospital maybe i'm sick maybe i ate something i'm not supposed to eat on getting to the hospital they confirmed that i was pregnant when i told this man he said no i cannot keep it he started shouting on me as if i am his house even his house girl he cannot even shout on the house girl like that but because he's helping my family now we are poor so he shouted at me and he sent money to my account that should go and remove that thing because that was what he called the pregnancy go and remove that thing i went to the hospital hmm. i had to beg and beg and beg then the nurse now agreed to help me in fact that day when the nurse was even doing the thing self hi i almost lost my life oh. because the thing i started for me she was bringing out the parts pieces by pieces now hmm. auntie Nene, please let me tell you something let me tell you how this thing started when i wanted to go to school i went to greet this man in his house and he now told me that I should just play with him. That is not for anything, that is just for fun. And I did not know this man planted camera, like his phone camera. He hid it somewhere. And he was videoing everything that was going on. Play? How? Yes, like he just I should play with him. Just and all of that. But he didn't come out that he's so. He just I should play with him. We should have fun. So we were playing now. Even the way I, because my body, it was now dreaming somehow like I should just have something. So even when I removed my clothes and, you know, now when the thing started, the man videoed it and we had it that time. So when I was in school, this man is always sending me videos of him, himself. Like he will show me his bola when he's even standing. Like the way we be mourning, doing it, be using his hand to do his bola. He wants to have sex. That is what he would just be crying. Like he will be telling me that he wants to knock me. The way we will be crying. Ah, eh, over the phone. Over the phone. He will do the video. He will the send elder it. from the church. Yes, the elder. He will bring out his bola. He will be using his hand to do it, do it, do it. He will send it to me. And he will also tell me to also do my own and send to him. How will I do that? But because of fear, I told this man that I cannot do it. That what if all this thing gets to my parents? What will I do? That was even when I knew that this man had such video. Because he threatened me that there is nothing I can do. Even if I go to our pastor in church, he knows what to tell my pastor. That he would tell my pastor that I was the one that said him. And I told him how? That who would even believe him? He even sent me the video that, as evidence that I should see it. That first video. That first video. I was so ashamed of myself. I became helpless. 24 years old. How do you want me to start my career? You are 24 years old. Yes. You are big. It's just because it's just big body. How do you want me to even face the crowd if which, such viral which, video? Is if you year one, year two? I'm in my year two. I just got to school last year so this is my second year in school and this man has been the one paying your school fee. he has been the one in fact anything i want to eat i don't look at this bag this bag it was one that even this hair it was one that bought it for me it does not even make me lack anything in school at all like in fact i even have money that he used to give me that we even help some of my friends that don't have in school that's to tell you how the money he used to give me is much I don't know if he gives other girls plenty money like that or he sleeps with them. But what of other uh, girls? I don't know. That he gave scholarship like you? Yes, he gave them scholarship. But I don't know if he's sleeping with them. It's only me that I know. Even, I cannot even share it with them. How will I say such thing out? It's they shameful complain. now. They never complained. They never told me anything. So me too, I cannot tell them anything. In fact, if I want to go to school, this man will buy food stuff. He will send it to my parents in Abel Kuta. That this is what he wants to give me to school. You now, just put yourself in my parents' shoe. That somebody is bringing such things to you. You know how you will feel now. You will not want to treat that person. Now. You will pamper that person. 
that if I want to go to school, I will even have to share those things. Because if we give me money again, I will share those things so that my parents will have some things to eat in the house. Then me, I will take the remaining ones to school. Hmm. Even I had to open a very big shop for my mother hey. in Abekuta. This shop that I'm telling you about, Auntie Nene, if you pass that shop, in fact, you even be thanking God. Ah, ah, is it God that blessed this woman like this? That the shop is very easy provision. My mother is selling it. Rice, she's selling it. Oh, yeah, my mother is selling it. In fact, she even had to open another extra shop where she sells shoes in Abekuta. With the money this same man is giving yes, her. Yes, with the money he's giving her. Just doing it as if he's doing charity for us. Now that you started sleeping with me, I would like to go and tell Pastor that this is what is going on, knowing fully well that he has shown me the video as a threat for me. And now, even if I am, in fact, I cannot think straight. Sometimes I would think that, okay, let me even opt out of school. Let me just leave this thing. There was a day I was even talking to my mommy. I was stylishly telling her what was happening, like, but I didn't come out plain that I was the one. My mommy was like, are you serious at all? Please don't even play with me with that kind of thing. No, don't even say it happened to you or something like that. The way she was even talking. How will I come out to that kind of mother that, mommy, this is what is going on with me. <sighs> Boy, I don't say it. Because my mother now, she has seen her Jesus Christ. This man, <laughs> if he wants to do his birthday, he will like three cows as if, they just gave birth to Jesus Christ. You know now how they celebrate Christmas. You know everybody wants to celebrate it in a grand style. That's how we celebrate this man's birthday. In your church? Yes. Because, in fact, you will eat and you will take food home. Nobody will even complain that I did not eat. Now, my problem is, if I want to opt out of school, if I want to say I'm not going to school again, how will I tell my mother that I am not going to school again? Or how will I say I don't want this man? In fact, because I love school a lot, I am always dreaming to be a nurse. I would think that, okay, Abby, should I just be giving this man my body? Let me just manage it. Let me carry my cross like that. So that the man will see me through school. And I will look for a way to hand the thing. But sometimes I will be tired. Because this is not the kind of life I want for myself. How will I be sleeping with somebody that is old enough to be my own father? Eh? I don't even know what to do again. But if I say I should opt out of school, I cannot go back to my mother's house. So, because my mother will not allow me to stay in her house. She will send me away. Where will I go to from there? Will I go to my relative's house? The relative that don't even like us from the beginning because we are poor. If not that we are now rich now, that my mother has a very big shop, that they are now trying to come. Will I go there? I cannot go there now. Eh? And Nene, please, eh, please, just let me beg your audience. In fact, if you even have solution, please, I beg in God's name. Help me. Advise me because me, I am, t I am very, very tired. I don't want to do this kind of it's life. It's remaining two years now, right? It's remaining just, in fact, no sense school. It's just three years, maximum, maybe three years plus that will finish. But how will I keep on doing this kind of shameful act with this man? Eh? If you talk to your mom, will she believe you? She will not believe now because this man, the way he does his things in church, and you will not even know this man has that kind of character at all. <sighs> Good. Please stand up first. Stand up. Stand up. Don't worry. Solution will come out. Solution will come out. Just come. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Now, wow. Elder inside the church again. Mm -hmm. You will give students scholarship. We'll be going. Ah, ah. You want to be sleeping with them again. What kind of scholarship is that? <laughs> what are we going to call this one? Hey, and this man has used money to close your mother's eyes. He has used, oh. Hi. He has used honestly. Because my parents cannot even say anything. It's just like the man will even decide for you what to do now because he's deciding for My parents cannot talk anything now. What will my parents say? Eh, that they have seen their Messiah. They have seen their Jesus Christ now. Who will want to go back into poverty? 
I mean, I cannot even do second wife. Or oh, is that his intention? Like, he wants me to be his second wife or did what? He say, he, did he tell you that? He did not say, but the way he's doing it... In fact, at Nene, even... I don't know. This man monitors me. Like, he monitors my movement. He doesn't want me to have boyfriend in school safe. Because if he sees me with any boy, this man will shout at me the way we even talk to me. That is that how to face my studies? That he sent me to school to face my studies. If I want to sleep with anybody, it has to be him. I should keep my body for him. Is that his mission? He wants to put me as a second wife or what? This man, the way he shouts at me, he just he will just shout that focus on your study. You don't need any man in your life. What are you lacking? Are you lacking anything? Yes, I know I'm not lacking anything, but Abba, won't I marry my own husband? I have my life to live now. Eh? Sometimes, if, if my parents, because they now come to our church here on the, in Lagos once in a while, anytime my parents come and maybe I am in the church that day, and the way this man used to advise me, eh, as if he's a better person, he will sit me in front of my parents and in front of my pastor. This man will advise me. Like a normal woman being will advise somebody, but no, this man is not that person he's saying he is. Hmm. Chameleon. Chameleon. I, I can imagine that kind of person. I can imagine. I can you imagine. Now, wow. Anthony. The, the thing that even brought me to your place now, let me tell you. Now, like this, eh, I'm even thinking of opting out of school. I want to run very, very far away from home. I don't even want my parents to even see me because if they see me that I opt out of school, they will disown me. And even before they disown me, let me run away because my sanity and my peace, though I love school, but who, my sanity and my peace. Is it paramount? If your mind is not at peace, how will you read in school? I am studying nonsense, but I, I cannot concentrate again because of this thing. Asinene, please help me beg your audience. Help me talk to them. Let them give me the advice. Even if you have advice, give me. I am like a sister to you now, your junior sister. There is no way you will push me to now. Please help me. Don't worry. You are not going to stop your school but. If it's for that man to stop paying for your school fees, because once he stops paying for your school fees, I don't think he has he still has rights over you again. And your mom has to know about this, whether she believes it or not. You just have to tell them. So we are going to take everything gradual now. Now wow. Guys, things they happen for this life. Shabia they talk them. Things they happen. Imagine. Just look at what is happening in this young lady's life. And she's twenty four years. She's in school. All right, let's see how it goes. Guys, please drop your opinion for her in the comment sections. Like now, I'm, like, I'm not happy. Some stories like this, it's, it's just God's grace. I, if I start crying here, which mouth will I not use to talk? So I have to hold myself and again so I can be able to, you know, console her. But in everything, we still give God thanks. And let's hope and see what God can do. All right, guys, please draw advice. I just needed people to advise her. Let's know what to do concerning this problem now. Because it's a very big problem. Help me share this video. Thanks for watching, guys.